Good day, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Over the Shoulder. So today we're going to be playing around with animated textures in iClone. So the cool thing is, with, in iClone, you can actually click on you know any anything anything that requires a texture. Click on that material, and instead of pick, picking a picture you can actually pick a video file and that video file will play as a texture while you play uh, your anime you know play on your timeline play your animation so this got me to thinking since I can do this I can actually make something come true visually that I had written about in one of my books so in my book um, one Calvin which is actually uh, uh, um, about to be released as an audiobook pretty soon. How cool is that? Um, but anyway, in that book, Bianca here, and uh, which is a character I created um, uh, for the front cover of what of uh, One Calvin. Bianca here. Um, to make a long story short, you're probably if you're if you're probably yeah, if you're not familiar with the book and you probably aren't. Um, it's a sequel to Zero Calvin, but the whole universe or whatever takes place kind of about 280 years in the future from now. So Calvin, and now in one ca in this book, one Calvin, uh, his old girlfriend from the past, Bianca, they get um, th frozen in the past, and you know, like cryogenically, cryogenically frozen. My mouth is not working today. Um, so they get frozen in the past, they get thawed out like 280 years in the future. And Bianca here goes shopping in a, you know, in a, in a mall, or what has become of a mall, in the future. And uh, during her shopping trip, she comes upon these dresses. So here's how I describe the dresses, um, or the dress. It was a long, silky flowing dress. The dress had a surprisingly realistic island beach scene printed on it, which gave it a volley, which gave it a very Polynesian look. The scene was so detailed that it could pass as three-dimensional. Adding to the effect of realism was an ocean that lapped up and down on a white, sandy beach while palm trees swayed gently in the breeze. Bianca had to have it. She gently lifted the dress by the hanger, admiring its beauty and its technology. The image faded into a new image, an image of a lush green tropical jungle beside a mountainside with a huge rushing waterfall splashing down the side of it. Bianca really had to have it. Sorry about my uh, stuttering when trying to read that. I was very distracted because my cat decided she was going to run around like a lunatic while I was trying to read that. It was very distracting. Um, at any rate, you get the idea though that you know, there's like a beach scene with palm trees swaying and an ocean going. And it's actually, so it's an actual, the way the dress is constructed, um, it acts almost like a video screen, like a moving video screen. So it can display about any kind of picture at once or a moving image. So that's what we're going to try to reproduce here on Bianca's dress. Now I don't actually have um, any kind of like island beach waterfall swaying tree type of video prepared right now but what I do have is um, I have this video here which I made earlier called um, Van Gogh's drone footage. <laughs> so I thought this was suitably abstract and kind of unique looking so I figured this would be a, a good thing to try out as a texture. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. We're going to try it out on this dress here. Uh, before I even animate her I just want to try it out on the dress. So the idea is I should be able to double click on this and select the drone footage, or the Van Gogh's drone footage, and see it comes out. And the good thing is the the way this dress, uh, the UVs are, 
you can see it's like all one piece for the front and all one piece for the back. So it makes it nice. It makes it look um, fairly continuous. I mean, you'll see the seam, but you know, it's the seam where the dress would be have, normally have a seam anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if I hit play now, the video should actually start playing on her dress. So how cool is that? So in theory, this could be just as I had described, you know, like a, um, you know, tree swaying and a um, ocean lapping up and down on a beach, things like that. So that is pretty awesome. So let's stop this here. Let's hit pause. Let's go back. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to, I want to animate her and have her dancing around with that texture, but I don't want to make iClone explode. So what I want to do, I'm going to hit undo a couple times here. Until it's a white dress again. Good. Okay. Now I want to put the animation on her. So right now we have um, rigid body simulation and soft cloth simulation active. And we're on real time. So what that means is iClone is going to try to simulate the motion of her dress, the cloth and everything, in real time as fast oops, while I um, while I play this. So if I hit play, it actually does a pretty good job of simulating the movement of her dress, right? That's not too bad for real time. But it's not a hundred percent accurate. It it tries its best to keep up. And it also takes a, a lot out of the, um, you know, it has the process like a mad dog to keep up. So what we're actually going to do is um, we want to bake that in, uh, those motions. Because right now, if I move through here, that dress, that fluid dress movement isn't captured. It's just the, all it's doing is going through the morphs of the dress, um, you know, just the, uh, the, the weighted morphs. Um, so what we're going to do is, if we go here to the project settings, and we scroll down to soft cloth simulation, we can say bake the animation, okay? So now every time we hit play and it does this and it calculates the physics, it's actually going to then create, actually create all that movement of the dress as keyframe. It's going to keyframe it and keep that like baked in so it doesn't have to simulate it each time. And to make this simulation more accurate, we're going to flip this over to by frame. So this is going to play slower than normal because it's going to actually spend quality time frame by frame calculating the physics of everything. So we're going to hit play. Just let it play through and record, simulate and record the physics of her hair and the dress and movement. Okay, so now it's baking it. So now it's baked in. Now we don't want it to rebake every time because it'll actually re-simulate every time because we have the simulations turned on. So we actually want to turn off, if not at least soft cloth simulation. I think we can safely turn off the rigid body too. Okay, and we can flip it back to real time. So it. All that dress motion is now baked into the animation. You see when we scrub through here, you can see all the, the wrinkling. You know, you can see all this wrinkling and stuff and the, the actual 
fluidity. Is that a, yeah, I guess that's a word, fluid, fluidity of the dress. So we can play it in real time and it's not simulating it now, it's playing it back from what it just remembered basically. So this will save a lot of computational time. Um, you know, it won't be as hard. iClone won't have to work as hard now because that, all that calculation is like baked in. So with that done, we're going to go save the project. <laughs> Always save. You got to ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Jesus saves, right? Okay. Um, now we can do the old video trick again. Cool. So now she'll be in motion and her dress will be animated at the same time, in theory. Haha, <laughs> check it out. How cool is that? That looks really, really awesome. Cool. All right, well, that honestly is all I really wanted to try out for today. And it worked way better than I even thought. I thought iClone was gonna explode or something, but it's doing a pretty good job. It's wrapping HD video around a dress in motion, f flitting around, I mean, that's, in, in real time, that, I mean, that's, that's impressive. That is freaking impressive. Uh-oh. With that said, I think I just blew it up. Come on, buddy. Doesn't like to scrub through very well, but that is pretty cool. That is amazing. So what I want to try next, and um, if you're a patron of mine, I'm going to maybe render this to, to iRay so it'll be photo real. And uh, I'll post that up on Patreon for you guys. Anyway, um, I guess that's it for this episode of Over the Shoulder. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're an iClone user, you might have just learned a couple things. Um, I kind of did, too, because, you know, this was an experiment for me. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.